So now we're going to insert a Craftsman style door just like this one here. So to go to SketchUp Warehouse, I'm going to click on this button that's for my 3D Warehouse. My 3D Warehouse is going to open and you're going to type in Craftsman Door and search for that. If you're in products, these are actual products that exist in the real world, models or any Joe Schmoes, but this is mainly where you're going to find uh, what you want. You're going to see there's a wide variety of things. <clears throat> I'm going to make my screen bigger so you can see it. The one that we're going to load is the Craftsman Door Dynamic. It has kind of green and blue glass. I'm going to click my download arrow and it's going to ask if I wanted to load it directly and I'm going to hit yes. Then I'm going to place it off to the side and hit my space bar. And now the next thing I need to do is rotate my door because it's the wrong direction. So I'm going to click on it, go to my rotate. I'm at the top on the blue axis. Click once and I'm kind of going to line it up with my door and type in 90 enter. And that has now rotated my door. I'm then going to move my, use my move tool to move my door. So you can see that there's trim. <clears throat> So I'm going to kind of click on this kind of corner here, and that's the corner I'm going to snap to the corner of my wall. And now we have to scale our door to meet the opening size. So see how my door is too big? So I'm going to click on my door and use my scale tool. And while you use your scale tool, being an x-ray vision, and kind of going back and forth out of it, will really help. So right now, this side's too wide. So I want to click on this middle dot here, and I'm going to drag it in a little bit. Okay, and this is where you're going to turn on and off your x-ray. Drag it in. Okay, so that's looking good on this side. Drag it in a little bit. And kind of do the best that you can. Turn it off. Okay, so that looks good side to side. My trim looks good on the outside, but let's see how it looks on the inside. So see how my trim's in my wall? So I'm going to click on this middle dot, and I'm going to click and drag it out so that I have trim on this side. It's just popping through my wall. And now my trim went in a little bit on this side, so I'm going to drag it out. Sometimes it wants to snap, which is a pain, so you get to kind of just work with it. and get it as close as you can. So that's pretty close. All right, and I can use my move tool a little bit and move it out. And again, you're just trying to get it close, as close as you can. Okay, and here's my door.